Okay, what we've got here is a AeroMotions adjustable wing. Uh, the wing has a control box which uses G sensors as well as vehicle speed to adjust the pitch of the wing um, as you're going down the track. So it basically gives you variable aero. It's going to pitch the wing up during braking to help keep the rear end planted and then during straightaways where you want to get maximum speed it's going to reduce the pitch, align the, the air to flow through the car more freely and give you less downforce when you don't need it. Um, I'm going to show you the control box real quick. As you can see here, the control box mounts underneath the car. It actually has some cables and servos that move the wing up and down. Uh, very simple. It's basically just a power, a ground, vehicle speed sensor, and then the rest is contained inside of this box. It's got its own computer system that uh, factors in all the equations you need to make sure it's active. Okay, now when setting this wing up, what we had to do, we attached strings to the wing in the back there, and using the remote control from the driver's seat and the camera, we were able to set where the wing is going to stall out. Basically, at this point, it's where you're going to get the maximum downforce from the wing. So with this handy remote control here, we can choose up or down and test it as we're driving the car and found where the max stall point is, which is right here. Basically beyond this point, we're not going to get any additional air out of the wing itself. So this is what can be used mainly under extreme braking conditions. This remote also can be seen from the cockpit. Uh, if the driver wants to adjust the downforce on the fly beyond the automated controls, you can set the maximum and minimum points of the wing using the remote. It's got a very simple up and down, braking, maneuvering mode, and straightaway mode and each one of these buttons can be programmed independently.